there's been a disgruntled uh, bare knuckle uh, fight executive, Paul Tyler, that uh, has made some comments saying uh, he thought the fight was a work. Uh, what do you think about that? And I guess uh, there's been some issues with some of the fighters that apparently didn't get paid for that show. Really? He said that. Man, that guy is, uh, he is something else, you know. He's the guy that signed me. You know, he's the guy that, that originally contacted me. He was, you know, the former matchmaker. Um, you know, I, I, I think at this point, you know, and then with Boss Rutten and his press release, it's gotten about as bad as it can get. I mean, the, the, the mud slinging, you know, the things that I've heard, I mean, if, if any of the things I've heard about him are true, you know, it's just, it's really, it's unfortunate. But, uh, you know, I always felt that me and him personally were, were on good terms, you know. Yes, he was, yeah, there was a lot of things that happened dealing with him, but I, I'm, I'm one of those guys I always feel like you get more, you know, you don't no need no need to make enemies unless um, you know you absolutely have to. Even if somebody kind of kind of messes some stuff up, maybe fucks you over a little bit. That you know, still, why not just stay on the good side? Probably be better in the long run, especially when it comes to business. This is how I feel. Um, you know, so saying that, I thought we were we were um, on good terms. But it really sounds like what I've been hearing, um, you know, the things I've been hearing about that guy are just really uh, pretty terrible. Does that kind of turn you off of bare knuckle fighting at all? All that uh, that shadiness that and rumors. You know, I, I don't think I don't think it's bare knuckle fighting's fault. Um, I I you know the the owner was was great to me. You know, uh, obviously boss. Boss Root and I love Boss. I've known Boss for many, many years. You know, we've always got along very well. Everybody at the WBKFF um, really bent over backwards to to accommodate me. My, you know, my flight out was great. My stay at the hotel was great. You know, everything they could do. I knew at that time there was a lot of adversity that they were facing. I knew there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes, you know, that um, they obviously didn't want to expose or, or, or let everybody on to just yet, you know, so I kind of left it alone, you know. I didn't ask, you know, if they're not going to tell you why I asked kind of a thing, you know, um, but I did sense that, and, 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 you know, after seeing the press release and after kind of understanding a little more about, you know, everything that was going on, you know, I, I feel like, you know, the company is, is, is a great company. The, the, you know, the majority of the people there are, are wonderful. Um, it's just, you, you know how it goes, man, one bad apple. And it definitely uh, did not look like a worked fight at all. Uh, you could tell it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, so. man, that's, that's just fucking, that is really upsetting to me. I mean, you know, you train so hard for something, you know, and you go out there, you know, and you lay it all on the line, and, and, you know, the fucking, the outcome, you know, the fact that the fight ended early, that's out of my fucking hands. I mean, I broke my knuckle on the side of his fucking head. I hit him hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think anybody could have got back up. 